Let's see how the density of fur can influence the look of our character. So here we have a switch, switch between a baked USD asset with all the dynamics and curves. And here we have a procedural input using a SOP import. So that will give us dynamic workflow. So if I change that to one, we need to wait a little bit until the procedural creates all the hairs. So now when we have uh, our procedural workflow, we can uh, lock this view here so that doesn't change. Then we can go to the object and we can go to our body here and we can change a density from 2 million. Let's see what we will get with 1 million. We need to wait until that gets baked. Couple of seconds. So now we are locking the update of 1 million. Let's actually snap that. Maybe move a little bit can see that part wait a little bit you can see the changes in the ears and the snow so now after one minute we can snap this and we can reduce that even more to half million wait a couple of seconds every time when you reduce it goes faster and faster now we see the update and we can also see through the hairs here the skin that's why it's darker because the skin here it's darker in this case if we would like to go with a half of million curves we will need to increase the thickness to preserve the volume and see less through okay we can snap this just for comparison you can see how that is changing and how we are losing a hair let's go even more quarter of a million okay let's snap that and now we can see how much that is changing our look we did that only on a body the tail is uh, separate so following the the information that we found online using two to three million curves on the whole body for the for the squirrels chipmunks would probably have less than three million because they are smaller that's why we pick up two million and you can also see how the details in a clumping are slowly disappearing let's go back to two million so here we have one million half of a million a quarter of a million and this would be two million let's snap that just for the comparison you could notice that there are more finer breakups and details and if we go closer and for example if we now reduce this to let's do half of a million and then change the thickness so as we uh, saw from the research that 40 micrometers is the thickness of the hair and our character is twice bigger that's why we are setting here 80 micrometers the hair but for example if we increase that 10 times like like this that would be maybe too much maybe we should just double that we are obviously uh, exaggerating here so let's reduce that so this would be 200 micrometers we could for character that is further away has this kind of optimization because you obviously don't see you don't see that much in detail but if you if you go closer you will notice that the thickness of this hair is not right so the best practice is to have the correct correct thickness and set up the density of the hair according to that obviously half of million is not enough one and a half now we can see it's already looking better the same goes for the length of the hair. Here the length is defined by our guides and we are using a texture here for the length. The texture defines that the length of the hair on the, on the nose is smaller towards the ears are also smaller around the eyes a little bit longer and then on the body is a little bit longer and then on the chest is the longest and also the tail has a, a separate groom it also has a, the long hair 
but we are actually reducing that and we also have here texture and we have a multiplier for that texture that actually regulates how long the hair is so if i go here and say let's say three times longer we will also need to because we are going through the bake through the bake cached here we will need to avoid that right now and plug that directly and wait it looks funny but yeah looking the references and uh, deciding what would be your length and adjusting that accordingly will help you to achieve the desired look let's see how it looks super short and here because we don't have dynamics we can see how the hair goes and penetrates to the other hair but if we would uh, recalculate the dynamics there this hair will actually be nicely laid out on top of each other so you can see here how it looks when it's shorter let's go back we will see later when we start doing look dev coming back to to this workflow to readjust some values if we think that they are not working quite correctly looking the references it will definitely look different with the colors we will probably see some things that needs to be changed so this one is without dynamics let's snap that and let's return that with a big dynamics and see the difference so without dynamics with dynamics